State and local leaders are urging people to take time to prepare for this next storm system, which as Tony mentioned could bring high winds, inches of rain and the potential for flooding. And this all comes as some residents and business owners are still cleaning up from the last major flood event. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish joins us now with their concerns and the message from state leaders tonight. Kayla. A spokesperson for the state's emergency management agency tells me one of their biggest concerns is for flooding on local streets and area rivers. We spoke to Rhode Islanders who have dealt with those impacts firsthand recently, and for them to be faced with all of this again is overwhelming to say the least. It does make your heart drop. Tamara McKenney co-owns Appenog Brewing Company in Warwick. They've been closed the last three weeks, cleaning up after the Patuxent River flooded in December, leaving two feet of water inside their business. They're hoping to reopen this week. To have the threat of flood coming back at us literally on the day we're hoping to open is not the news that we wanted to handle. Her concern shared by those on the other side of the bay too. Keeping my fingers crossed. <laughs> In East Providence, residents of Dewey Avenue, which is prone to street flooding, are bracing for yet another storm that could bring inches of rain. It's just like so much more. It's lit. It's gone up to our door several times already. Philomena De Silva says she's got sandbags ready to try and keep water from getting into her home. The mayor of East Providence tells 12 News their crews have been out clearing storm drains to prepare. And rain, coupled with the snow we already have on the ground, um, going to be a mess. Armin Randolph with the Rhode Island Emergency Management Agency says they're not just concerned about that. He says the state is also bracing for the high winds expected. We're told Rhode Island Energy has extra crews coming in to address potential power outages. A lot of tree limbs are going to be down. Power lines might be down, so avoid those as much as possible. Randolph tells me Governor McKee plans to meet with the heads of different state agencies tomorrow to discuss their concerns and preparations for the storm. In Cranston, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.